What's going on, guys? It's Brown Superman's Comics, and it is Friday, which can mean only one thing. It's time for last call. That's right. These are my picks for comic books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night. I will tell you, if you blink this week, you just might miss it. The indie showcase this week is bringing some heat, and I can't wait to get into that. But before we do, if this is your first time on this channel, I do a lot of comic pop culture related content, so please consider subscribing. And make sure you click that bell notification so you get notified when all future videos are released. We're going to get into it right now. Starting with Marvel, we get another Spider-Man series. Yes, you might be going, man, another Spider-Man series. But this one is from Chip Zdarsky. Uh, yeah, the ears perked up with Chip Zdarsky. If you're unaware of Chip Zdarsky, one of the best writers in comics, especially with those creator-owned books, especially on my favorite Marvel series, Daredevil. Chip Zdarsky is the man, but here he comes writing another Spider-Man. It's a mini series. There's going to be four issues. Issue one, hit and final run cutoff. It's going to have multiple covers. There's also an incentive variant for this. And it's a little bit darker, it seems. Talks about how that alien suit nearly destroyed his life. But what happens if he never really took it off? That's what this series is diving into. Chip Zdarsky, Spider-Man, cover A. Got that Phil Noto cover art. Definitely getting in on this one early. Getting over to Boom Studios for a second. We get that issue number two to that blockbuster. I say blockbuster because it is just like a movie, but we're talking about Berserker number two hitting final order cutoff. Yes, we had issue number one not too long ago, but last week we had the second print for issue number one hit final order cutoff. But this week, issue number two hitting final order cutoff. Bunch of great covers for this one as well. And I'll tell you, to say the first issue came out punching is a severe understatement because, <laughs> yeah, if you read it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't read it, highly suggest you pick up issue number one and pre-order issue number two before this coming Monday night. Getting over to DC Comics. This next one we're talking about doesn't need much of an introduction, but we get Joker number two. Remember, the final order cutoff for DC Comics does not match the regular diamond previews world so make sure you check with your lcs or wherever you're ordering online to get that order in there's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant for this fantastic sketch variant i also like that lee bermejo but just that cover a gillen march is all fantastic i do like this joker series so far we've only had one issue but either way if you're a fan of joker this is worth picking up if you're a fan of cover art this is worth taking a look at as well and speaking of cover art, one other pick that I have in here, mostly just for the cover art alone, because it is absolutely gorgeous. We all know we just had that Snyder cut of Justice League drop. So we got new attention being pointed on the Justice League characters, right? Superman, Batman. I don't care. I still think the Flash wasn't the best in that movie. Hope we can get better. Cyborg, so much better than the Snyder cut. Wonder Woman, though, it's definitely standalone movie. The first one was great. Didn't care too much for 84. Liked it in the Snyder cut. But what I'm getting at is Wonder Woman issue 771 has that gorgeous, 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 gorgeous Joshua Middleton cover. I have that in here just for that cover alone. Nothing against Becky Clunan's writing. Phenomenal writer. But this cover just speaks to me. It's, yeah, it's like, order me. Pick me up. Please. Why you do this to me, Demi? But moving on. The next one we also would have with DC. We are getting... Batman the Detective from DC Comics. It's a mini series, but I've been talking on this channel how great Tom Taylor is. Tom Taylor's been writing Suicide Squad. He's been writing The Deceased. He's been writing great titles for Boom with Seven Secrets. And he is getting hold of Batman with the Detective. Yes, this is going to have some incentive variants as well. I like how they've gone to those sketch variants for the 1 in 25 over the design variants. Can never get enough Batman, can never get enough Detective. So this one I'm getting as well. And if you like store exclusives, friends of the channel, the 616 Comics has a kick-ass store exclusive going on sale Saturday, March the 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern. And it's by none other than great exclusive variant artist, Cal New. You can get that cover A, limited to 3,000 for $14.99, or that cover B, which is limited to 1,500 for $24.99, or Pokemon style, collect them all, get both of them for, as a set. And that again is going on sale Saturday, March the 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern. There's one other book I wanted to talk about before we get into the showcase. 
and this is more of a, uh, don't talk about trades or omnibus or hardcovers too much on this video series. But there's one from Image Comics I think a lot of fans might want to take note of. We are getting a complete hardcover of the full series, including extras, extra pages, extra information, extra art of that fantastic series from Image Comics. I'm talking about Middle West. That's right. We're getting a hardcover, complete all issues 1 through 18. If you're a Scotty Young fan, this is something that you want to take note of. And if you live in an area where your LCS doesn't carry too many books or hardcover books, they might not order this. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you let them know. And a lot of times these type books, if you pre-order through your LCS, you can get a discount. And don't be scared to ask, hey, can I get a discount if I pre-order this? Hmm? Huh, sucker? Well, don't say that, but do ask for the discount, which is going to bring us into the indie showcase portion of this video brought to you, of course, by Black Cape Comics at BlackCapeComics.com. Again, all the books we talk about in this video, plus others can be pre-ordered for FOC at BlackCapeComics.com. Huge fan of indie comics, just like I am. That's why the showcase is brought to you by them. But the first one I want to talk about this week is the Zenoscope book. Yes, a lot of people right now are probably giggling. Ha, Zenoscope. I'm a Zenoscope fan. Mostly because I love Paul Green covers. He does a lot of great covers for Zenoscope, so I collect those. But here's a book I'm telling you, cover art alone, most of the time Zenoscope books do get attention for the cover art. This one we're talking about is called Mango and Bunny Man Number One. It's a horror comedy comic, like horror, like comedy. Cover A is great. The reason why I'm picking this up, in addition to Paul Green, I love Josh Burns does some great covers. Another person for Zenoscope that does great covers, Keith Garvey. But Josh Burns is doing the cover B for this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous looking cover. Horror comedy, Josh Burns. I'm picking it up. Also from Ablaze Comics, we get that second issue for Maria Lovitz. Aero Psyche number two. One thing that caught my eye on this one as well is there's an homage variant to Pulp Fiction. A lot of people love to pick up those movie homages. And Pulp Fiction is one of those great movies. I did read issue number one after we talked about it in this video. Loved issue number one. So I'm picking up for the story. I'm going to pick up cover A, but I'm also going to pick up that Pulp Fiction homage. 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 Homage Ruski variant. Yes. I fully admit sometimes I call it homage. Sometimes I call it homage. It's just how much Grey Poupon I've eaten dictates. I guess. But moving on. Then the last one we'll talk about in the Indie Showcase. This is probably the big pick of the week. It's definitely my big pick of the week. And we are talking about going back to that little tan man. Yes, not Wizard of Oz. But we are talking about IDW's Kanto and the City of Giants number one. Seems like I've been talking about Kanto for quite a while on this channel. And for good reason. You might have heard Kanto has been picked up for an animated feature. And a lot of people might think, well, only the first series of Kanto books are worth getting. But I've been vocal on this channel. That's not the case and still believe so. Whether it's the Clockwork Fairies, whether we had Kanto 2 and the Hollow Men. Kanto 2 and the Hollow Men, issue number one, introduced a bunch of new first appearances for a bunch of new characters. Who knows what Kanto and the City of Giants issue number one will introduce. Either way, all these books make up one phenomenal tale, one after another. When they say all ages... It truly means all ages, but not in that stereotype kind of way where you look at the book and be like, ah, oh, that's for kids. No, I'm telling you, if your kid reads it, they pull something out of it. If you as an, as an adult read it, you also pull something out of it. But the best thing about it is it's a book that you can read with your kid or give it to your kid to get them into reading because it's my, my kids themselves. They just like to watch YouTube and play Fortnite and a bunch of other crap. So I had both of them read the first trade paperback and they enjoyed it. Also, if you're one of the people that always misses out on Kanto, every time we tell you to order one, I'm telling you right now, it's hitting FOC. Get your order in at your LCS. Get your order in online. There's the normal one in 10 incentive, but there's also a one in 25 incentive variant for this. So make sure you get those orders in. Secure yourself a copy. So you're not chasing them on release date or worse on eBay after the fact. That's going to wrap the any showcase portion. But we do have some additional printings this week as well. That amazing Spider-Man number 61 is getting a second print. From Oni Press, that John and the Unpossible Monsters. Yes, we talked about issue one for FOC on this very video. That issue is also getting a second print. And from Mad Cave, their newest heater of a comic book series. 
Nottingham, Nottingham number one. That is getting a second print in FOC this coming Monday night. Have you read Nottingham? Oh my gosh. If you haven't, please, please do. If you like Robin Hood in a different type of way, this is one worth picking up. The art in it's great. The cover art's great. Love Mad Cave Studios. And Nottingham number one is another one in that successful line of different comic book series. They have series. I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out Mad Cave Studios, they have a comic book series pretty much for everyone. Whether it's superheroes, whether it's wrestling or wrestling, you know, fantasy, samurai, supernatural. Check out Mad Cave Studios. And another thing I keep telling people, if you go to your LCS on release day and they don't have it and you didn't go on this video and watch it and pre-order it, make sure you check out madcavestudios.com. A lot of times they have issues available on their website for cover price that you can buy and have mailed to your house. And their shipping is good. There's some publishers out there that don't ship so well. My experience has been great from them because, yes, I've been complacent and didn't put an order in and had to go on the website. Or I liked it so much I went and bought more copies, which I don't normally do. And then lastly from Abstract Studios, serial number two is getting a second print as well. But there it is guys, those are my picks for comic books hitting Final Rock Cutoff this coming Monday night, sooner if you're DC Comics. Once again, DC Comics, make sure you check with your LCS, check with online, find out when that Final Rock Cutoff is, get those orders in. But with that being said, guys, this is Brown with Men's Comics. See you in the next video.